Hello everybody. Um, today we are going to be talking about Kothar, the Barbarian Swordsman by Gardner F. Fox. Now, when I first heard of this, I was like, uh, just some like Conan ripoff and oh, no. Um, and then um, I just said, screw it, I'm going to give it a go. Dude, 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 dude. This, this is the way to do something like this. Um, there, oh, okay. Like, there's so many things about Conan, and especially the Conan books that came after Robert E. Howard died, that are, like, they're good, but they're not great. Um, and since Robert E. Howard only wrote one Conan novel, and that was basically a greatest hits of his Conan stories, um, there was never, like, a, basically a lot of the, um, lore around Conan, um, had to be kind of put together <clears throat> by people after the fact, and, um, You can see how that turned out with um, the El Spray de Camp and Lynn Carter stuff that they did. And some will argue it's great, some will argue it's not. But then you look at like the Fritz Leiber, um, Fawford and Gray Mauser stuff, and like look at how that's put together and the world building and the lore, and you're like, oh. Wow. And, like, Robert E. Howard was no slouch. Like, he wrote, like, his Samaria poem, and he wrote about the people of um, Hyboria, and, like, it wasn't like he didn't care about that stuff. But you could, like, see the difference between the world Robert E. Howard put together, the world DeCamp and Carter put together, and then the Fawford and Gray Mauser world that um, Fritz Leiber put together. So going in to Gardner Fox and Kothar, I was like, oh man, what's this going to be? Okay, now, writing style. You can tell this dude wrote for comics. You can tell that um, he is very action oriented He's very, like... Um, like if you have ADHD, this is a series for you because it just goes and you're like, boom, boom, boom. You're like, yes, yes, yes. And the difference really between Conan and Kothar is that like Kothar's blonde. And that's when you get down to it. That's kind of the difference between the two. Um, their births were a bit different. Um, and this book is basically like three short stories um, to just let us know about Kothar. And let me tell you the things that Kothar does right. Okay, so the first thing is in the first story that's in this book, um, he gets his sword. Now, his sword is given to him by this, like, mummy thing of from, like, gajillions of years ago, a sorcerer. And the sword um, is called Frostfire, I think. If I remember correctly. Um, <clears throat> now, the sword is like the greatest sword in the world. 
but it comes with a price, which is um, Kothar can never have riches as long as he has that sword. And so we have a reason why. Because like when you read Conan, you're like, oh, well, of course Conan's going to be king because no one could kick his ass and he's going to just slay everybody until he's basically running the show. Um, but with Kothar, we have a reason why that will never happen with him as long as he has that sword. Because no matter what he does, no matter how he tries, and there are times through the book where he almost tries to not pull one over on the sword, but try to have some money. And um, the sword has a different plan. So that's amazing. Um, the other thing that I really, really like is that in this first story, he defeats this sorceress named Red Lori. And um, the queen that he defeats her for, um, spoiler, locks her up in a cage and has her like hanging in her throne room. So she could always see that um, she failed. Okay. Now, magic logic, I don't understand how anything else can happen. And she's still in that cage. But she has decided that she is going to fuck with Kothar the rest of his life and make his life a living hell. Even to the point where she will interfere in things where Kothar would normally have been killed to protect him just so one day she can kill him. So this is such a cool, like, ongoing thread. And, um, like, he'll have visions of her, or he'll hear her voice, or, like, he'll, like, see her face in, like, a, a flask of mead or something. Um, that whole bit is so cool because it's kind of like a uh, act of God saving them, you know, from things, but there's a reason for it. So like this first book, like I, I might love it because of how I was expecting absolutely nothing out of it. But I don't think this Kothar dude gets any of the credit that he's due. This is good reading. If you haven't read it, um, you could find it online. Um, Kothar, the Barbarian Swordsman. And I think, I think, I think there are six books in this series. Um, but I'm going to be reading all of them to find out. So, um, yeah, Kothar, thumbs up, go get it, subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, share, um, hang out. Okay, bye.